Hi, boys and girls. Our lesson today is going to focus on something we've been noticing with your learning. And so we are feeling we're in need to take some time to explain the difference between what are goals versus learning targets. Because we do use both in each of our subjects in reading, writing, and math. So let's break these down so you have a clear understanding of the difference of the two. So let's first look at what is a goal. A goal is something you would like to achieve. What is the purpose of setting goals? Goals give you direction and keep you focused on where you want to end up. And I know all of you want to end up in fourth grade. And we know that in third grade, your learning gets harder. And so the stuff we give you, we, we want to set goals on so that each and every day it gets a little bit easier. So a, a great quote for that is a goal is an aim. So it's a target or an objective that you would like to achieve within a certain amount of time. Okay, so here's a great quote that I found. Um, it says, through goal setting, students become owners of their learning. And what I like about this quote is that you, boys and girls, are not the only learners. Students can also be adults. So we're learners our whole life. And so what it's saying is by us setting our goals, we are the owners of our learning. So on over here on the side, you see that different areas in all of our lives, we could set a goal because we are the owners of that learning. We could, one, set a goal in academics, in our social life. That means with our friends, even at school every day. Maybe our goal is to sit with somebody who you haven't sat with before, play with somebody different at recess. You could set a goal in sports and exercise and healthy eating with our family and in our community. We could set goals in our hobbies and our interests, in our screen time, and maybe in our long-term plans. So what is then a learning target that you see in all your videos of the day and that you hear your teachers say over and over? It says, what is a learning target? Learning targets are short-term goals or statements. Your learning targets should clearly state what you expect students to know and be able to do at the end of the lesson or lesson. So listen to this part again. It's we ex what we expect you to know and be able to do at the end of the lesson. So we're seeing a pattern that some of the learning you're watching by your teachers is you're not picking up on the part what it is you have to be able to do. So we're giving you what you need to know and be able to do. So we, we want to start working on when we're watching our videos, when we're learning our math, as we're practicing our reading and setting these targets and learning them, that you are picking up on if you're able to do it or not. And then what do we do? If you can, what do we do? If you can't, we continue to set goals. So we call this intentional teaching. So intentional teaching means also great learning. So that means all of our instruction that we're giving you by your videos or in the classroom, all the activities you are giving, given are aimed at specific learning targets. And we are going to really work with you of knowing what those specific learning targets are each day. So another way to look at this is to take and call it a learning intention. So you have an intention, you have an aim or a goal. So learning targets that we give you each day convey to you, the students, your destination. So a destination is where we want to end up. So if we go on vacation, we have a destination. So your learning targets every day convey to you what your destination is for that day's lesson. So this is what that means. Your destination means you'll know what to learn, how deeply to learn it, and exactly how we need you to demonstrate that learning. So listen to that again. The learning targets that your teachers are giving you in videos or not 
We want you to know what to learn. We're giving that to you. We're going to show you and model and explain how deeply we want you to learn it. And last week, lastly, we're going to make sure you know exactly how to demonstrate your new learning on a daily basis. So we call this success criteria. In this picture next to the video right here, step one, two, three, four, five. It's not going to necessarily take five steps. It might take 30, but however amount of steps it takes. That a success criteria means it's what students need to do in order to achieve their learning goal. And so it's going to take time and practice and patience. But it's got to start with, first of all, knowing your destination each and every day, boys and girls. Where are you going in your learning every day? And how are you being asked to demonstrate that learning? And then we go step by step each day in your lessons and your learning. Here are a couple examples. I'm not going to read them all, but here is a third grade writing. And so it says, I can conduct short research projects. That is something we will be doing together this year. And so we're going to show you what that destination looks like. We're going to tell you what it is, and we're going to show you how to get there. A math one says, I can recognize and create equivalent fractions and show why they are equal. And so within that, you'll be able, you'll have to know how to define the word equivalent, identify if fractions are equivalent, create two fractions that are equivalent, and show why the fractions are equivalent. So these very specific targets, we're going to tell you that destination. Here it is. We're going to tell you what that destination is. We're going to guide you there and we're going to help you go step by step. And then you will know how to demonstrate that along the way. So what is your part in setting goals and in your learning targets? Well, the learning targets is, for, is really for you in self-monitoring. Do you understand it or not? It's okay if you don't. What do we do? So we kind of always do as learners, as adults and kids, we self-check. So we, as we learn and as we move along, if our, our math is an hour, as you go through working on those, you kind of pause every now and then and you kind of do a little hand check. So one says, I got it. So thumbs up to myself. I can explain it to myself and I could teach someone else. Or I kind of, mm, Thumb is sideways. I'm still thinking. I'm not sure if I understand this yet. Or you give yourself a thumbs down, which we all get. And it means you need some help. So look over here at this target. It has four, three, two, one. A four means you're hitting the bullseye and you really understand it. A three is I'm hitting the tar target consistently, but I haven't hit a full bulls bullseye yet. I'm hitting the target sometimes, but still having difficulty as your two. And the one out here means you're unclear on the target and you feel lost. So I see it as these two types of goals that you will be getting from your teachers every day is we have self-made goals, which will be on post-its that you use in the classroom every day. You use post-its in your writer's notebook. You use post-its in your workshop book. And you'll also be using post-its in your scary story. So these self-made goals and tools are things you choose as a person, as a learner, that you'd like to work on in that day. But on this side is the teacher-made goals. So you have self-made. So we... Got this little picture here. You're pushing it up. You're the one striving for that goal you want to work on. And we do that in our writer's notebook a lot, almost every day, right? Here, the learning target, which you've been seeing, these are teacher-made goals, just like that math goal I read to you, the equivalent fractions, just like the scary stories, just like the multiplication targets and division targets you've been getting. These are teacher-made goals. 
But notice both types of goals are focused on what? Learning and learning. So that means as a learner, you're going to take all this learning taking place in your brain. Okay, and you are going to be the evaluator from soft start to dismissal. You are giving yourself a four, three, two, and one in all of the things you are learning. That includes, do you know the destination that day? Do you know what we're wanting you to learn? Do you know how we model to get you there? And three, do you know how you, we want you to demonstrate that? So remember, in our videos, in our lessons, because that's what those videos are, they're learning lessons. Your teachers are doing all three of those things. In the meantime, it's okay, boys and girls, that you don't know how to do it at first. That is okay. But let's keep keeping track of the understanding of your learning. So you're either a four, three, two, or one, but you're not going to stay a one if you're a one. Hopefully with patience, time, and practice every day, you'll work up to a three or a four. So a four means you can show others exactly how to do your learning, tar learning target that your teachers have made for you. Three, I could do this all by myself. Two, I need more practice. One, I need help. And I love this emoji one. It's all very similar, but maybe one stands out to you more. A four says, I can teach this to others. I know more than what my teacher taught me. Not more than your teacher. It means you've gained more learning. Three, I get it. I can do it. I know what my teacher taught me. Two, I can do most of it. I still need help sometimes, and that's okay. One, I understand a little. With help, I can do some of it. So notice to be at a two, three, or four, you're doing this stuff on your own without help. And a zero means, big look of shock there, says I have no idea what I'm doing. Even with help, I cannot do this. And boys and girls, let me reassure you, it's okay to be a four, three, two, one, or zero. But you don't want to stay a zero or stay a one or even a two. Every day you are aiming to be a three. Because then that means you're doing work as a third grader. So let's start doing this today. Let's focus on those learning targets today. Ask yourself, what's my destination in my lesson today? What am I learning? How is my teacher showing me that I'm going to get there? And lastly, what are you going to do to demonstrate that in the same way that we are modeling and showing you that step-by-step -step way to demonstrate your learning? Okay, so good luck today, mathematicians. Good luck today, writers. Good luck today, readers. We know you got this. Work hard, learners. Adios.